Picture the scene. A poor man, a homeless man, someone sleeping rough in the streets. And as he gets ready to sleep, he looks at the newspapers around him, the torn pages, and reads that someone has won a million pounds on the lottery. What might this homeless poor man think? Well, he might think, lucky him. He's now a millionaire, his life will change. But of course, it will make no difference to the homeless man. He stays poor and homeless. Someone's become rich. It makes no difference to the poor man. Last Sunday was Easter Sunday. All week and today, we've been thinking of a resurrection of Jesus Christ. Well, we might think that Jesus' resurrection is a wonderful thing for him. It's an extraordinary thing for him. But does it make a difference to us? Is it just, as it were, Jesus winning the lottery good for him? This is where today's gospel can help us. Jesus' humanity was and is the same as ours. What happens to him is in principle and in fact shareable by us. He is the new Adam. He is the firstborn of many. He is the first fruits of many. So we are interwoven in what happens to his humanity and are able to share it. Thomas was hesitant, was in doubt. Who knows what kind of week he had since the other apostles had met the risen Jesus and he hadn't for reasons he gives. He finds it acceptable but couldn't quite believe what the other apostles have said, you notice. When Jesus comes, the risen Jesus, a week later to meet again the apostles, now including Thomas, notice that Thomas's faith isn't expressed in terms of, oh, I believe he is risen. I believe he's Lord. I believe he's God. He speaks to Jesus and says, my Lord and my God. There is a bond then, a recognition of a bond that there isn't just a Lord and a God, but that Thomas now accepts as my Lord and my God. And from that moment, Thomas's life changes. Not only after his death will he be linked to the resurrection of Jesus, but from now on, as we are. At a rough guess, I'd say, if you asked Christians, what do you hope for after death? I guess many will say to go to heaven. But is that our hope? What's happened to the resurrection? 
I suspect many of us will be hard put to say why the resurrection is the center of our hope, not heaven. You see, heaven is for souls and we are not only souls. But do we actually believe that? And how does it show that our hope is in the resurrection, not only going to heaven as souls, which we do, but that is not the center of the story. We show it by how we live from now on. If we're not merely souls, which we're not, then we have to love each other and love ourselves as embodied souls. That's what a human person is, not a soul only, not a body only, but an embodied soul. Today is also a Sunday of divine mercy. And perhaps that's the way, whilst we're still living, that we show that our hope is in the resurrection, that the whole of a human person will rise. Traditionally, there are works of mercy, and each of us might reflect, how does our life show them? What kind of mercy do we show? And traditionally, they put into corporal, bodily works of mercy and spiritual works of mercy. If in our lives, one of the two is missing, then we're unlikely to rejoice in the resurrection because we'll think that getting to heaven is what it's all about. Corporal works of mercy, feeding the hungry, as we would put it in modern terms, providing drinking water for those and there are many who lack it. Spiritual works of mercy, praying for each other, praying for the dead, teaching each other the faith, and so on. Spiritual works of mercy recognize that we are souls, that we are spiritual. Corporal works of mercy recognize that we're embodied. To use an old ancient image, we aren't our souls flapping in a cage, hoping that the door will be opened, that the body will collapse and the soul will be released. That is not a Christian picture. The Christian picture is a wonderful meeting of Thomas and the risen Lord. Thomas assured of a bodliness, the glorified woundedness of Jesus Christ and his complete humanity and divinity. And those marvelous words that should be at the center of our life now, as well as after death, my Lord, my God. <laughs>